And the Wiz is back. Jeff Farmer is back in for Melbourne. You're beauty, say all the Melbourne fans. And the Dees were fantastic, hanging on by three points against the Adelaide Crows. One win, one loss in 11th position. Schwarter, it was a tough old game there. Also coming in, we've got Godfrey, Green, Thompson, Lamb and Wheatley. Yeah, so we've, got, no, look, uh, was... we've got Farmer, McDonald, Lamb and Wheatley there. There we've, you go. We've got the, we've got the whole side there. But uh, look, we were lucky to get over the line last week. And... Uh, it just uh, goes to show that at the end of the year, that game might be the difference between making the finals or not, and uh, you need to win the close ones early on to set yourself up for later on the season. All right, let's have a look at the Geelong side now. Go Cats. Good to see Murphy back in after his one-week suspension. Adam Houlihan playing his 50th. McGrath in as well with Ling, Raleigh, Chapman and Kingsley. And uh, Benny, the second quarter, what happened? 13 players had one kick or less for the quarter. 13 players. Yeah, I'm a cul culprit for that. Uh, no, look, we uh, had a good chat about it at half time and Bomber, his main thing was he just said stay calm, don't panic, be positive and that's exactly what we did and we turned it around. Now you've got the wood over the demons, uh, apart from last time you played when Melbourne won by 18 points you'd won 10 straight. Well that's right, that's, uh, unfortunately we didn't win the last time we played and yeah. we'll be out to rectify that. Alright, Bucks, who's going to win this game? Um, I, think, uh, I think Geelong will win, I think uh, Melbourne sort of aren't having played the grand final last year aren't travelling sort of as well as they, they were late last year. And I really do see a bit of probably Melbourne early last year in Geelong side. They've got the youngsters in uh, Corey and Spriggs uh, and young Scarlett who's playing some sensational football down back early <laughs> in, the, in the last couple of rounds. And uh, young Enright who played, was it his first game? Last first year? game, yeah. And he, Great he young sort player. Of looked like he was ready made. So I think uh, Geelong have got a few youngsters ready to, to come up and have a real run in it. So to give us some tips start for 131 demons, 94 cats. Ben, what do you think of the Carlton president saying your club's second rate? You're the club captain. No, I, I don't uh, listen to John in, in his comments. We, uh, we've got our own agenda, and, and that's to win games of footy, and so far we're two zip. OK. Your tips? Are we allowed to tip on our own game? Yeah, you can. Yeah, just as long as you don't bet. All right. Uh, 110 to 92. Bucks? No, uh, Geelong 118, Melbourne 110. Sam? Now, Ed, I don't know who will win this game, but uh, I know we say controversial things on this show, but this isn't controversial. If you are at all a fan of blue and white, either horizontal or mm -hmm. vertical stripes, I would do something about it because I would doubt if either of these sides or one of them gets to the end of the season Who's without... That? Uh, either side? the Kangaroos or Geelong get to the end of the season without either being wound up, going out of business, or just dropping off the face of the earth. That's how serious things are at Geelong, and that's how serious things are at the Kangaroos. Members are needed to support those clubs, and if they don't, I'm telling you, Geelong are in desperate trouble, and so are the Kangaroos, and they can bring all the smoke screens out they like and say we're going well, and all the spin doctors, but they are just about stuffed, both those sides. And if you are at all a fan of either of those sides in this great competition, do something by buying a membership. And, and uh, uh, the Western Bulldogs numbers are down there, desperately needing some tell supporters you what, as well. And, and by the way, I mean, every club, there's no doubt about it, every club, even the ones who have got up two, around the uh, 28,000. Those two, one of them mightn't get to the end of the I year. I think what's happened, Sam, is a lot of people have thought, well, hang on, there's $500 million coming in this TV rights, why should I buy a ticket, I'll just turn up.